Hey, everybody. Coach Dang here. It is race week. It is go time. It is Bank of America Chicago Marathon showtime. We're here with our special guest, Galen Rupp. Hey, Galen. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. We're very excited. This is uh, wrapping up our training journey with Nike Chicago and Nike Running. We're so uh, grateful for your insights here as a former champ, last year's runner-up. Um, couldn't ask for more, uh, more uh, greater insight, I think. So, so thank you for, uh, for all that up, up to now. As we're heading into race week, I always offer my athletes, um, give them five tips and I go, I go in, in, in deep, I'll spare you the, the deep part, but I'll give you the, the, the headlines. And I say, be calm, be confident, run smart, run tough and have fun. Uh, and, and I talk about e each of those things, why they should uh, be calm, uh, why they should be confident. Running smart is incredibly important. You know, running tough, marathon's hard. You got to you gotta rise to the moments. You train for those moments and then, you know, like take it in, have some fun. Um, Absolutely. What would you say or what do you say to yourself when you are headed into your big focus race? I mean, I, a lot of what you said, actually, um, you know, the, the week of a race, you want to be as calm as possible. You know, I think that that's the biggest thing is I'm trying to like, you know, this you're gearing up for some huge event, you know, and, and I think your body knows that. I know that my body, there's some deeply like innate sense. I think that it knows it's going to go through hell that, you know, I get really, really tired the week of a race, you know, in the days leading up don't really feel like doing much, even though I'm tapering like crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, I've kind of learned over the years that I, I think that that's a good thing. You know, um, some people, you know, that I trained with or raced with, um, you'd see them bouncing off the walls and, you know, hopefully you have a little bit more energy because you're not running so much, but, uh, yeah, it was, I always got a little bit frustrated because I was just always so sleepy the week of a race. Um, but, you know, I remember throughout the years, everybody like just, lean into that. That's okay. You know, it's a good thing. It's just your body gearing up for something big. And, um, so I always tried to make sure I slept as much as possible. I stayed off my feet, um, really tried to limit, you know, anything that, that wasn't necessary. You know, I was just horizontal, you know, whether on the couch or on my bed, you know, really just trying to relax and have as much energy because it, it is going to require a ton on race day. And, um, you know, mentally too, you want to be as calm as possible. You know, the work should already be done you shouldn't be stressing or trying to like, you know, nail down anything the week of a race, you know, hopefully that's, that's already done. Um, and, uh, you know, it's good to just go over that, you know, you obviously want to have a, a really good plan in place and, uh, you know, have, be practicing that on your mind, but the calmer you can keep your mind, um, and the calmer you can just stay in general, you know, I, I think that that's the biggest thing that, that I want to do leading up to a race. I love what you said about feeling tired and uh, how that felt maybe a little disconcerting earlier in your career and not so much anymore. Cause I, I, I get a lot of that with athletes struggling if everything's going incredibly well, but there's just, there's sort of a magnifying glass on that period. Uh, and that final week where like you start to worry about injuries or, or any, any weird, anything just kind of can mess with you. But sometimes I think it's that, for people who are hundred percent healthy and feeling great, there is that almost fatigue feeling. That's kind of like, it's, it's counterintuitive, but I, I I'm very happy to hear that you experience that. <laughs> I, I hear that from my athletes and they get so nervous. So now I can, now I can lean on this video uh, in perpetuity and say, Galen feels that too. Watch the vid. Hey, I mean, I've, I've fallen asleep on the bus, you know, heading over to what, you know, track races. I've fallen asleep at the track beforehand, you know, before I go to warm up um, and definitely before a marathon too, you know, like whoever I'm with, you know, agent, coach, like I go to sleep and they'll wake me up when I get there. You know, I'm not worried about that, but uh, it's a, it's a really weird thing. Sometimes it, it did used to be very unnerving for me, but uh, I guess as I got older and the more I kind of, realized like I was always fine you know when the start line came off I wasn't like <laughs> groggy or anything it's just I really believe that it's a it's a very your body knows you know you can tell it all you want and consciously but subconsciously it it knows it's getting ready for something big and that's not necessarily a bad thing it doesn't mean you're going to feel sluggish or tired on race day but uh yeah it's just try to keep getting as much sleep as possible you know it 
your body knows what it needs. And, um, you know, you can't be scared to, to go with that, you know, whether that means sleeping a lot more, uh, you know, the day of or the week of a uh, big competition. I love it. Okay. Any final words of advice as they head into Chicago? Any, any uh, tips or tricks? It's race weekend. They're excited. They should be resting if they're falling asleep on the way over. NBD. Mar- yeah. Nothing will pick you up like a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> What yeah, the... your journal will get going when it comes to the start. But yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I I think the biggest thing is, you know, don't don't feel like you've got to be Superman. You know, I think that that's a real common trap that a lot of athletes fall into. You know, regardless of what level you're at, is like all of a sudden race day comes and it's like you forget everything you did. It gets thrown out the window. You know what you did before every workout or every big race. You know your last big long run. Um, and so it's, it's really important. I think that you, you stick with a good routine and and the routine that you've had, you know, you might be in a different city or staying in a hotel, um, you know, a little bit different surroundings, but the closer that you can keep your routine to what you've always done, um, the more successful you're going to be, you know, the, when you have those great races, you know, it's, it's not something, you know, I guess sometimes you could say there is some magic, but it's really the training that, that goes into it. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you catch a flyer and that's when things just go unbelievable. And you set a huge PR, but, um, you know, you really, for me, I'm always going over the key workouts that I did, you know, the week of a race and, and really almost building myself up and, and pumping myself up, but it's built on a solid foundation because it's, it's all the work that I've done leading up to a race. You know, I'm not saying, well, you know, things, I never really went that hard in training or I never really ran this pace, but you know, I, it'll all be okay. I'll deal with it tomorrow. It's like, no, like this is why I ran those, you know, mile repeats faster than race pace. This is why I did all those long runs where I recreated the feeling of, you know, that suffering feeling. And I was able to get through it. Like I'm going back over all that training. And that's, what's given me a lot of confidence when I go to the starting line that I know I'm ready to go. I love it. We'll leave it at that. It's time to go. It's you're ready to go, athletes. Ganglin, again, thank you so much for all of your insights through that cha- training journey. Uh, I'll be watching the race at mile 20 and uh, can't wait to see everybody flying by. And uh, maybe we'll see you in town as well. So thanks for everything, G Rep. We really appreciate um, all, all, all your generosity of time and spirit as uh, one of the best in the game and in, in its history. So. Thanks. Absolutely. I'll, I'll be out there too. So good luck to everybody. You know, don't be scared to take it a little easy the first half, you know, even if it feels easy, because again, you know, your body will thank you that last part. And that's where you're really going to make up a ton of times in the later stages. So conserve, 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 and then just execute, you know, and, and have confidence and know that no matter what your mind is telling you, all those doubts, the stuff is perfectly normal. You just got to find any excuse you can to keep pushing, keep getting to that next milestone, whether it's a water stop a mile marker, a light post, whatever it is. And you'll work through those tough points. And then when you start to get closer and closer to the finish line, you'll start to get another surge of energy, even when you think you're totally dead. So just hang in there. Now, I know it's tough, but we've all been there and, and you can get through it and you can do it. And I just hope you guys all have a great race and I'll see you over at the finish line. Love it. Thanks, Galen. Thank you.